Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Project Zilfit 2.0 and uh, we are at the last stretch and I believe there's probably going to be this episode and probably another one more before we officially close the Project Zilfit 2.0 Today is a Saturday, 23rd of October uh, It's 12 noon right now and I just came from uh, Space U8, the old showroom to supervise the um, dismantling of the uh, aircon. I couldn't sell the two 5 horsepower York uh, ceiling aircon. Apparently they're not very uh, popular and uh, not a lot of businesses uh, use 5 horsepower. So I, had, I have no choice but to take the aircon and just install it here. And I've, as I mentioned before, um, this place can get quite hot the aircon will be reserved for those days when the, the heat will be stifling. When I went back to uh, Space U8, um, it kind of brings back a lot of memories. Uh, when I looked at the place right now, it is, I believe, it looks better than when we rented out the place in, in 2018. Everything, the, the walls have been painted white, everything looks very spacious, it looks new, smells of fresh paint and the floor is clean um, it's, it's, it's surreal the, and I've got a lot of good and bad memories uh, from, from that place and it took two hours to bring the aircon down uh, for your information I used a different aircon guy because I think the, the initial contractor, the initial aircon guy is just too expensive and I'm a bit disappointed with that but I should have done it earlier. I should have compared prices with, from uh, from one contractor to another. You know, I was pressed for time, so and I didn't want to, and I didn't even bother to do that due diligence. However, that's my loss. Um, but now that I found another contractor with uh, better price and more uh, human capital, so he has a lot more people, and the work done was uh, was quite was quite fast. The dismantling at least. Right now we are at the new showroom and they will install the aircon here today. So one aircon will be placed right above me, right here. So it's going to cover half of the showroom. There's nowhere, there's nowhere else to put this aircon in my opinion. And the best is right above me. So it covers at least half or three, three quarters of the, the whole unit. The other one is going to be upstairs and that is going to be sort of an overkill uh, because that one five horsepower aircon is just going to cover half a floor and it's going to be really cold mm. but it does get really hot as i mentioned before and i hope that with that aircon you know uh, it can uh, cool off um, the 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 it can cool off that that floor um, bear in mind that this whole place is an it's an open sort of like a, it's, it's very open there's no walls there's no ceiling that that is uh, boxing in uh, any room so it's just one big space so I'm hoping that you know because of that it's not going to be too cold and it's not going to be too hot today one of the contractors is going to come and build the rack uh, above the, the 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 restroom and I think he, he mentioned that it's going to take two days for him to complete inshallah once that's done uh, I need to rearrange again the storage area and uh, Hopefully, after that, we're going to open up this place for uh, people to come. So, inshallah, by next week, I'm hoping that by next week, uh, we get to announce the, this new showroom and begin to accept people to come in. Another thing is the, um, I don't know what you call it. It's not a gate. It's a, it's a fence right the fence so we're gonna put two fans in front of uh, each shutter one at the front one at the back uh, the reason for that is that so that we can uh, bring the shutter up um, while still keeping people away <laughs> you know uh, so that we can get this place aired out um, and get the uh, you know air flowing inside the, the, the showroom I think that's all that we are going to do for today uh, inshallah hopefully we get as many things done as possible <laughs> as you can see that's the aircon contractor just who just walked by
I also think that they just finished their lunch and getting ready to start their work. Okay, this is a continuation of uh, day number 31. Yesterday, it took the aircon guys about five hours to just fix that aircon up there, which includes also the cleaning of the aircon, the servicing of the aircon. Uh, the servicing alone for two aircons took like two hours, maybe two, two hours easy. So they really clean every single nook and cranny of the aircon before uh, bringing it up. Obviously, even installing this one aircon itself took, uh, I think about uh, maybe one and a half to two hours as well. They couldn't finish uh, both aircons. Uh, the other aircon would be uh, upstairs. Uh, the reason for that is because one, when, when they were cleaning up the aircon, they, they discovered that one of the panels uh, is, is rusted, therefore, uh, the plate at the location where there was the, the pipe uh, it, it will eventually leak they didn't want to install the aircon first before getting the spare part so this week um, they will try to look for the spare part for me and then uh, once they have it maybe another two or three days they'll come back and put uh, or, and install the, the aircon upstairs as for today the reason I'm here is because uh, one of the contractor or my temp stuff. He is doing the rack that I told you guys about uh, above the uh, the toilet, the, the restroom downstairs. Uh, amazingly, he's doing it alone. I don't know how he's managing it, but it's a simple setup. We, we brought some of the beams um, from the mezzanine floor from the, the, the previous uh, showroom. We, he just cut it up and then uh, placed it on, on top of the, the restroom itself. And after that, once that's done, what we have to do is just clean up the uh, storage area that um, we have right now. So anything that is, is going to be anything that is going to be kept for long term and not being used or not being uh, uh, you know taken down uh, often, we did put on top of this rack above the, the the restroom. And so that means that we're going to clear our storage rack specifically for the stocks that we, we are going to have uh, inshallah soon. And uh, we're expecting a big shipment in November, inshallah. And I think that's when all this hard work that we, we've put in will be, will be put to test. And I hope that we have enough space, which I think we do. Uh, it's just a matter of arranging the, the, the equipment, the, arranging the plates uh, in a way that it's easy for us to take it down and then uh, pack and then ship it to uh, the customer. I'm eager for everything to be completed. I actually plan this week to soft launch this new showroom. Um, what I intend to do is to call up all my previous members and you know just give them uh, a free training session here. So for today, the target is to finish that custom rack above the restroom that I that I mentioned. It was raining quite heavily again today, so a lot of water just came in, and I feel that that's annoying. And I can also see water underneath the rack. That's why it's elevated. However, it hasn't come all the way all to, it hasn't come all the way to the back, so we're we'll safe there. Uh, as you can see, those uh, pallet is actually on the ground itself. Uh, it's not elevated. So I'm hoping that no matter how heavy the rain is, that the water is not gonna come all the way to the back right here. This particular episode is spanning over multiple days now. We started last Friday, and today is uh, Wednesday, 20, 27th of uh, October. And there are a lot of uh, small things that have not been completed. So the aircon situation is that we're waiting for the spare part for one of the aircon. One once the spare part comes in, then they're gonna install the aircon upstairs. Uh, that's not too big of a deal because uh, I'm usually downstairs, uh, even though my desk is upstairs. But I feel like uh, I prefer to work downstairs because uh, it's pretty hot up there. And even with the aircon, I'm not gonna turn on the aircon uh, all the time, right? Because uh, waste of uh, money. So I prefer to be down here where we have fans all over and then I have my Vornado aircon which is sorry Vornado uh, fan which is a really good really good fan I, I love it you know uh, second thing is uh, the 
the, the custom rack that um, my friend is building building for me so it's probably going to be completed by end of this week thirdly we have the the fence the gate i don't know what you call it uh, in front of the shutter both uh, the front and at the back problem with this is uh, how do i put this delicately the problem with all the contractors that i've been dealing with they're not very professional uh, this was supposed to be uh, installed over the over the last weekend but something about oversleeping and missing out on the transport that you know the timeline has been delayed and uh, this is so common with the contractors that i've hired maybe it's because i didn't do my due diligence but it seems to be like a seems to be like a pattern already and uh, it's annoying it's frustrating but it's not much I can do. Um, we've already paid the deposit and hopefully they will come by by this weekend. Everything is done. I mean, I saw, I saw the picture of the uh, fence. It's all done. Everything is painted. It's just a matter of them finding a time and the transport to get the thing over here and install it. That's it. Uh, next, we still have the problem with the uh, leaking, uh, both uh, on the roof as well as the uh, upstairs restroom. Now, again, problem with the contractor. Maybe I spoke too soon in um, uh, giving them praise on their work. I mean, um, I have to give credit where credit is due. They did a good job in uh, painting this, this whole place. That, I'll, I'll have to I hand it over to them. However, They've pro they promised to fix the leak, uh, all the le leaks, and uh, that was two, two and a half weeks ago. And until today, it's not done. So I've already informed the landlord and asked them to find another contractor. And hopefully, according to the landlord, that they will come sometime this week again. But I do not know whether it's today or tomorrow or the day after. And this has been the motif throughout this, the last two months of uh, renovating this place and getting this place ready. In between all these things, um, I've, I've had to cancel my license at the old showroom. So I went to um, the uh, local council and submitted the uh, application to terminate uh, my license. So there's a deposit there. Can't wait for that deposit to be in my bank account. Uh, as well as the, um, I switched off the electricity at the um, old showroom. That also has a deposit and hopefully I'll get the deposit soon. Those deposits are going to pay for all the other stuff that I haven't paid. Uh, namely the, uh, the fencing, the, uh, I think the, 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 the guy that's doing the rack, um, the actual storage rack. I haven't paid all those stuff yet and uh, so I, I'm waiting for all those deposits to be in before I'm making all the payments inshallah. Other than that, Alhamdulillah, I've managed to sell the XF80 uh, rig. That, that was a huge relief uh, because it was just sitting on the, on the floor. It's, it's huge, it's bulky, it just takes a lot of space and I just don't want it to collect some dust. So this guy is getting a really good deal for this wall-mounted rig because I'm throwing in the wall ball target, the safety arms, obviously the J cups, um, the uh, rope, uh, rope climbs, and I'm giving him two rope, two ropes. I'm also throwing in the gymnastic ring. So in one piece of uh, rig, he's getting every single possible thing that um, he could get uh, on a something on a rig similar to this, right? So. I hope that he'll be happy with the purchase. I think I gave him a good deal, inshallah, by this Friday, uh, which is two days from now, he's going to send a lorry to come and pick it up.